We are starting our day at Hobby Lobby. We have a few errands to run and then we are going to go to the church, get a few things done, and then we're gonna have our farmer's market. At Hobby Lobby, we got three of these small chalkboard signs and we got some chalkboard paint. The next stop is Academy. This is what we got at Academy. Larry got a new Nike shirt with some new Nike sweats. I got some leggings and some Crocs for when I bake. We just finished putting all the succulents in their pots and this is what we are looking like. We also put some grasses on the corner right there, but let me show you all the succulents. We are up here right now putting up all of the feather flags if you can see, there's some down there. Those are our funnel cake, lemonade, and barbecue signs. And then this one right here, this gigantic one right here, is the bakery sign. I'm super excited because today is the day of the farmer's market. And so I've been up since 4 a.m. this morning. I could not sleep. But we up now, so let me show you guys what we have. We have the muffins. I believe Ashlyn made up some blueberry muffins, strawberry muffins, and chocolate chip muffins for this market. These are some samples. I don't wanna mess up our stuff, let me be careful. These are one of my favorites, the monster cookies and the original cookies, okay? And over there, we're trying something new with the red velvet cookies. Those look really, really good. So we got our signs ready for the market. So before we leave for the market, I just wanted to share a few thoughts that I was having leading up to this market. And a moment of full transparency, man, we were kind of discouraged about the amount of vendors that we had showing up to this market. And I go into detail in the Patreon about how many vendors we have at every market, our profit and loss on each market, things like that, business and finance tips. If you're interested in that, sign up for the Patreon. The link is in the description, also in the first comment. But a few thoughts I wanted to share was that in order to be successful with any business, with any endeavor, you have to be consistent. Consistency is the key to breakthrough. Consistency builds character. Like me and Ashlyn had a talk and it's just like, we have to just stick with it. Like, don't get me wrong. We have seen tremendous success, made tremendous profit, but from month to month, these things fluctuate. And it's hard in the city that we live in because we are the first people to start a consistent farmer's market. And when you are the first to start anything, you read any book on any pioneer in any industry, they always are met with resistance and it just take a little time to break through that door. So that was a key that I wanted to share with you guys, not just in the context of business, but in the context of life or any goal that you're trying to accomplish, stay consistent and the results will come. Press through discouragement because there is a reward on them. drinking some of that uh 12 for bakery uh coffee what flavor is this this is the vanilla uh, bean oh vanilla beans well let me take it away man yeah hey come out to the market man get this ew grand <laughs> opening is on tuesday june 4th grand opening what is it <laughs> it's on tuesday, tuesday june 4th, 4th. y'all come out we have a drive through look how good this looks look at that come on you can't go wrong with one of these I Ew, your eye twitch. Is that good? Make the eye twitch. Yeah. Quesadilla. Really good. And we have the pineapple juice. Always. But look at this bite, though. Ew. 
Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop it. <laughs> we are still here at the market. And look at this. This is a strawberry lemonade. What is it? Yeah, strawberry, strawberry lemonade. lemonade. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> we are just getting home from the market. Let me show y'all everything we got. So to start off, we have a cookie dough cake, some frosted sugar cookies, a cute purple squid, a car freshener, a gardenia scented reed diffuser. Larry got a jug of pineapple juice. <laughs> we also got a rib sandwich, cornbread, some boudin and balls to freeze, and some chicken wings. Trying Sonic's new drink dessert thingies. So this is a orange cloud sickle slush float. So it's like Fanta orange topped with some vanilla soft serve and there's some boba in it. And I got the Big Scoop Oreo Cheese Cake Blast. We're at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> we ordered Pizza Hut. So we got a medium pizza with barbecue sauce, chicken and bacon. We got some boneless Cajun style wings, boneless naked wings, some cheese sticks, and some cinnamon sticks. I am trying something new with the chicken today. So I went ahead and I took my chicken thighs and I took out the bone and I went ahead and I seasoned them pretty simply with just some pink salt, black pepper, garlic and onion, where is it? Garlic and onion powder. And I'm also making some rice. But what I'm about to do is I'm gonna dip it in some flour and I'm letting my pan heat up right now. But I'm gonna put some olive oil in the bottom of the pan and I'm going to shallow fry them. I am finishing up shallow frying these. This is what they turned out like. As soon as these finish, I'm gonna put them in the oven to finish cooking. This is what everything ended up looking like. So I'm having mine with some cheesy vegetables with brown rice. Larry is having his with some baked beans and white rice. Right now I am making some mini pot pies. So I went ahead and I took some chicken tenders and I cubed them up and I'm gonna get them all nice and cooked. Okay, so in this bowl, I added my chicken. I added some frozen spinach, frozen corn, some onions and some chopped garlic. And I'm also going to add in some of my sauce. So this is my sort of take on like a cream of chicken. It's just butter, flour, and some bone broth, and then I seasoned it up. So I took my muffin pan and I sprayed it with some grease, and now I'm gonna take some biscuits, put them in there, and then fill the biscuits with our mixture. I ended up rolling out the biscuits and then putting them in the pan. I filled it with the filling, and then I took the extra little strips that I cut off and I just put them on top. So now I'm gonna bake it. Alrighty, this is what it ended up looking like. I made some sweet carrots while they were in the oven. So yeah, we have our mini pot pies and sweet carrots. <laughs> 